hi guys welcome back uh, in this video as i promised in my previous video i'm gonna go through the basic setting of this project so this is my controller box this is the lcd display this is the reset button sometimes what happens is uh, this lcd display goes into confusion mode and it doesn't show you the it doesn't display the numbers correctly so then that's when you just press the reset button as you can see now it will say hi user welcome to the display so when you just start this controller it will welcome you to the display and then over here as you can see here this is my inside here is my Arduino Uno it's the Chinese version if you buy the Chinese version like how I bought the Chinese version you please remember that you have to download a driver for it before you can program or else it won't work and I, I would prefer that you buy the original one original one is always the best I struggled a lot with the Chinese version to get it right so as you can see this is my programming cable so I can reprogram this without opening the box or doing anything and uh, this is my power supply for the Arduino as you can see here it's a DC plug that I'm using and uh, I'm using this through old laptop batteries lithium ion batteries so that's what I'm using to power the Arduino and if you come this side now this side is my connections as you can see this is for the motor supply also DC plug also DC plug I'm using and this is my sump sensor this is my level sensor sump sensor I'm using a water detector level sensor I'm using ultrasonic SR04 and over here is my motor connection because I'm using DC motor I also use the DC connection over here so what I did with this project is that I made it a plug and play project so you can install this anywhere now if you have a different uh, levels in the tank you can reprogram it as well because I've kept programming part here so you can change your settings of the level in the tank and uh, as you can see even for the ultrasonic sensor and for the sum sensor I've used a plug and play so that's where you you just plug it out can see here and this is my water sensor just plug it out like that and that's it and for over here I've used some hot glue and then I've used the insulation tape to cover it now for the water sensor this is my let me remove the water sensor from the tank this is my water sensor now you can see I'm using a Fanduino one and over here I've connected this pipe in the sump to the water sensor and I've used hot glue gun to cover all the electronic parts and it becomes water resistance same with this wire that goes in the water I've hot glue gun the connections so it's it becomes waterproof and for connecting the two sides is very easy I've used the same colors of the headers the jumper wires purple blue and green on the side purple blue and green so they go together same with the ultrasonic level sensor I've used the same colors on both sides of the connection now let me show you my ultrasonic level sensor how I have mounted it so as you can see this is where the connector comes out and inside I have mounted it like this I've used double sided tape there and as you can see there's some holes for the ultrasonic level sensor now I didn't have such a small screw so I didn't mount it with the screws I just took a wire made the holes over there and then pulled it out from here so even if this thing has to has to not function I've done this connection for backup so my ultrasonic level sensor doesn't flow or doesn't fall in the tank and gets messed up and uh, this is how I have mounted my motor I have mounted my motor onto the sump over here sump tank and I have used the uh, duct tape to mount it I have used duct tape to mount my motor this is the this is the inlet and this is the outlet of the pump the outlet goes into the storage tank the inlet goes into the sump and for, for the tube 
I, I, I mounted it from the side. I didn't want it to mount it on the top because then it was going to interfere with my ultrasonic level measurement. And I didn't want it to mount it inside here because it was going to interfere with my ultrasonic measurement. So I just made a small hole on the side and I mounted it here. And I made the full level to be here so it doesn't flow out. So that's the reason I made the full level to be here. And also the ultrasonic level sensor needs some blocking distance. And, and I, 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 I took a long pipe so it goes directly in so there's no uh rebouncing of of the water because it can it can rebounce and then it can fl uh, the water can water drops can fill this place and then it can uh, it might affect you don't want water on the electronics so that's the reason i put this thing throughout direct at the bottom as much as possible so thanks a lot guys for watching and that's the setting for my project in the next video i'm gonna go through i'm gonna open this box and i'll show you how it looks from the inside bye please give it a thumbs up and enjoy your day